We're almost at the Earth Pulse point. You all know the plan, right? I'm using you as a hostage to keep Oscar from doing anything stupid. And don't you try anything funny either. I knew you'd come, Velvet. Sister! As plain as day. Now put down your sword and let go of my fairy. If you don't, I'll kill her. You coward! I'm sorry to do this, Oscar! I'm searching for the truth behind the Abbey's talk of so-called reason. And your idea of reason is to threaten my dear sister's life? <sighs> I'm sorry, Oscar. I've become nothing but a burden. Teresa, no. It's not like that. All right. I'll put down my arms. <clears throat> Teresa, get back! Forgive me, Oscar. This is the only way I can protect you. We've kept our end of the bargain. Take him and get out of here. I can't do that. It will reflect poorly upon him. Lady Teresa? Have you forgotten? You're just a powerless human. You're right. I am a weak, worthless human. But he has shown me the light. And it shines. My body is receptive to Inominat's power. And with it, I can protect everything I care about. She turned into Ethereum? No, she fused with it. I'll kill you all. Anything to protect Oscar. Emerging with the Therian. Do you realize what you're doing, Teresa? <laughs> A trivial sacrifice. I'd do anything for my Oscar. Power! Ah! 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 Ah!
Stand down, or I'll devour you piece by piece. <laughs> it's okay, sister. You've done enough. No, don't look at me. I'm so hideous. When I was growing up, the only one my mother and father ever paid any attention to was my older brother, the heir. But you, Teresa, you noticed me when they didn't. You looked after me, supported me, smiled for me. I could never thank you enough, my sister. Keep watching over me, Teresa. As long as you're looking after me, I can vanquish even the Lord of Demons. Take a good look. This is armatization. That's one hell of an art. Fire! I am the fury of the storm! Fire mine! 
my the fury of the storm this is graceful Cloudburst! I don't believe this it's over Cloudburst! how could I be so weak is it her or is it just me Disgraceful. Hurt my sister. He's losing control of the Moloch. Damn it! It's turning into a dragon. Velvet, quick! Devour that thing! Stop! He's still. this pair of earrings for my birthday. They're family heirlooms that were supposed to go to his fiancée, but he didn't know that at the time. I told him he should give them to the woman he cares most about in the world. And you know what he did? He smiled at me and said I was that woman. So sweet. So innocent. And you took him away! You killed my Oscar! <gasps> How could you? How could you? How could you? <sighs> no! Don't do it! <sighs> Teresa, Oscar. <sighs> and we didn't even get the Therian we came for. He... Oscar came at him first. I had to. It was for Luffy. For my little...
Dead. No, not just dead. I killed them. I'm the same as Artorias. I killed her brother before her very eyes. It's not the same. It is the same! But I didn't have any choice! It was the only way to avenge you! It was all for you! I did it for you! There's nowhere left to run. Nowhere for you or for me. <laughs> nowhere left. You all right? I ate too much. That's all. They... they were close. They supported each other ever since they were children. I just did to them what they were going to do to us. And who will killing them save? The soul of my murdered brother. <gasps> oh. Whatever the case, we messed up the Therian part of the plan. They're probably making a new one as we speak. There's no time to waste. Let's go back to the port and start our search. Yeah. I had to do it. All of it. Velvet. I never expected that Velvet would actually eat Teresa. What else could she do? We never expected that Teresa would be a Therian either. Velvet and Lady Teresa weren't so different. They both loved their brothers. Not everyone loves their brothers. Some just want them dead. <sighs> so where does this leave us? It seems we must search for the new Therian that will fill the void left by Teresa. It won't be easy to find another who could become a Therian. Hmm. Then it won't be easy for the Abbey either. And they still may not be able to awaken an Ominat. We still can't assume that we're in the clear, though. No, we can't. If it takes time for the Therian to be reborn, this could be our chance to strike. Whatever happened, the seven Therian's ties have been severed from Inominat. But we won't know if the Empyrean has been weakened until we find out for ourselves. I can try and see if I can sense the new Therian. So let's go back to the prison island first. But I think... Velvet needs time to rest. Right. If we're gonna take down Artorius, she has to be there with us. Yeah. to be extremely wary. Get away! Thunder 
you won't get a word. Shake the power of your The power of the moon! Did you see that? I beat it. done for.
First mate, there's trouble. We got an emergency message from Port Zexen. A ship carrying dozens of exorcists just set sail for Titania. They have orders to eliminate the Lord of Calamity. Yeesh. Looks like the hideout's not so hidden after all. It wasn't me! I didn't tell them anything! Then you won't have any problem helping us. We're rescuing the Therians. Of course not! I won't let them take Kamoana again. Wait. That information came from the Bloodwings? No. From a peddler I often do business with. Exorcist operations like this are usually kept a closely guarded secret. And you're telling me a regular civilian knew about it? You think it's a trap? Trap or not, we don't have a choice. Our enemies know the odds. If they've set a trap for us, that means they think they can win. The Armatus! Yes. They're likely to throw armatized exorcists at us. Even your demon arm can't eat Armati. You might just have a real problem on your hands. If I can't devour them, then we kill them. Yeah, if we overcome the Armati, we can win. Like with Oscar. But his Armatus was still incomplete. From what I could gather, if the Exorcist remains armatized for too long, their Moloch will turn into a dragon. But to prevent these dragons from running wild, Melchior embedded a self-destruction art in both Exorcist and Moloch. To think they would go that far. Uh, this is all just conjecture, of course, but we should prepare ourselves as best we can. Just make sure not to leave any regrets behind. I really can't fathom what the Abbey is doing. Even if they did let us know on purpose, why would they leave us be? I would have expected them to press the attack against us. Even if their aim is to capture our allies as some kind of leverage against us, their plan is too many holes. What if we decided to abandon Kamoana and the others? They'd be no closer to capturing Velvet. Do they actually want the Therians back? What are you saying? Why did Melchior place that illusion on a ball to lure Velvet in? That was so he could capture her, right? And in case he couldn't capture her, he could kill her and create another Therian. Okay, so if securing the Therians is so important to them, why would they throw Orthrus to the winds? That's a puzzler. Melchior was right there, and he didn't try to protect Orthrus at all. I don't understand it. It's like they're toying with us. I don't see any point in that either. They must know we won't give up. Actually... That could be close to the mark. What if they're just trying to rattle us? Everything would fit, including the assault on Titania. Whatever's going on, I don't think we're going to like it. So, Eleanor, about that Armatus Oscar used, was that something the Abbey has been working on for a while? I was never involved in weapons development or anything like that, but I did hear of a secret research division. Word was, that they were deciphering ancient scrolls and books coming from every corner of the Empire. Apparently, Teresa knew something of the ancient tongue, and they called her in to help from time to time. Did she work on Enominot's book? I was never privy to any of the details, but I think the books were mostly about controlling Malachim. Well, that Siegfried thing of Zavid's is some kind of power control device, right? The Abbey probably learned about Siegfried in one of those books, and realized they could use it to armatize. So Melchior tracked Zavid down and stole the formula. Makes sense. It was all so they could create the Armatus. Will Eifried be alright? Complete or not, they've seen that they can use the Armatus in battle. They have no use for him anymore. <sighs> Let's get back to Titania, Aizen. I'll help out with the ship. Right. Let's set sail. A new res Scout ship to Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 